ago I was walking down the street when a store window caught my eye because they had made mini hot air balloons out of paper lanterns. And I was like, I can totally do that, so I snapped a few pictures and now here we are. I'm going to take you through step by step how to make an adorable miniature hot air balloon that is a great decoration for any room in your home. You're going to start with a paper lantern. You can get these colored, but I just got mine in white, so I'm going to paint it a nice teal color. Paint the entire outside of the lantern and then set it aside for now to dry. So now we're going to work on the base of the hot air balloon. You're going to want to use thin cardboard for this. I'm going to cut up a tissue box. Cut out four rectangles that are the same size for the sides. It doesn't really matter what size they are, just try to keep it kind of proportional to the size of your paper lantern. Then also cut out a bottom piece using the bottom of the sides as your measurements. And now to give it a little more shape, cut an arc into the top of each side piece. Once all of your pieces are cut out, it's time to cover the insides. You can use any paper you like, but I am using pages from an old book. Just glue the cardboard to the page and then cut it out until all of the pieces are covered. And now it's time to glue the entire thing together. I find that hot glue works best for this sort of thing since it dries so quickly. Just work your way around, attaching one piece at a time, trying to keep it all pretty lined up, but don't worry if it's not perfectly even. So once that is all put together, it is time to cover the outside. I'm going to be using burlap for this since I love how the texture looks over cardboard, and you can get a giant roll of burlap from any home improvement store or just online. To attach it, just use hot glue and kind of pat it into place, being careful not to burn your fingers. And then just cut off the excess and move on to the next side. So once the whole thing is covered with burlap on the outside and and book pages on the inside. We're going to clean up the edges by outlining them in twine. Once again, just use hot glue to attach pieces of twine to every single outside edge, but for now you're just going to leave the inside alone. And now for a little bit more decoration, I'm going to add a few pieces of this thicker twine. Just cut four pieces and then hot glue one to each side. And for even more decoration, I'm going to make these little white sacks that hang off the side of the basket. For this, grab a piece of canvas and cut out a circle, and then cut a few lines into the center of the circle so that they can overlap each other. And now thread a needle and sew about a centimeter in from the edge of the circle, pulling it tight so that the canvas bunches up as you go. You can put a tissue inside if you need to help it hold its shape, and then once you've gone all the way around, just tie off the thread. And then grab a small piece of twine and tie it around the canvas and cut off the excess. And then finally, just hot glue this whole thing to the side of your hot air balloon basket. So now the basket is done and we're going to finish up the balloon itself. Your paint should be dry by now, so use your larger twine to outline the top and the bottom openings, once again using hot glue to attach them. And then cut triangles from your book pages and glue them to small arcs from the larger twine. And once you have enough to go all the way around the balloon, use hot glue to attach them. So now that is the balloon finished, all that is left is to attach the balloon to the basket. You're going to need two long pieces of your smaller twine for this. Start with your basket and glue each piece of twine into an inside corner, and you're going to want these two corners to be next to each other, not diagonal from each other. Once that's done, use an X-Acto knife to very, very carefully make four holes in the bottom of your balloon, and they should be evenly spaced out so that there's one every quarter around the balloon. So take one of the pieces of twine and thread it through the outside side across to the other hole and then glue the end down to the matching corner in the basket and then do the same for the other piece of twine so that they cross each other in the bottom of the balloon and make sure that all four lengths are the same height so that the basket hangs evenly. Glue the last piece in and then you're finished. You can attach another piece of twine to hang it up from the top and now you have a really cool decoration for your room. And a little bonus, it is the perfect size for the doctor to take a little ride. So I hope you guys liked this DIY project. If any of you guys out there are hot air balloon enthusiasts, I know that this isn't exactly how a hot air balloon works. I know this thing would never actually fly, but it's only meant for decoration, not historical accuracy. But if any of you guys are casual hot air balloon fans, like I am, I actually made a brand new eBay collection with a ton of my favorite hot air balloon inspired things, like sweaters and necklaces and Christmas lights and wall art.
art. And I would love to see if any of you guys decide to make your own eBay collections too. You guys know I wouldn't talk about stuff like this unless I really liked it. And plus, eBay has really taken care of us. They gave me two $25 gift cards, which I'm giving away to two of you so that you can actually buy some of the things that you put in your collections. So if you want to enter to win one of these, you can put a link to your new eBay collection down in the comments and one week from now I'm going to pick my two favorites and then I will mail these to you and also like a handwritten note. So that is about it for me. If you missed my last crafting video, it was a collaboration with Mary Doodles. You can watch that right here. Or if you want to see more things that I like, you can watch my last favorite things video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone! Bye.